Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Matt Rainwater here, and today we're going to work on some stuff. Uh, I'm coloring today, so let's pull up Photoshop. Here we go. And, ah, all right. Every single thing on this page, other than this <laughs> panel of Hampton, is pretty much spoilers. So, oh, first off, I'm going to start off here. I need to draw the other part of his ear. It's not really... I have one other thing I need to do in just a moment. I need to flip into... Uh, I need to flip into tablet mode. Give me a second here. I, I'm going to do it right now. Oof. Sorry if it's a little chaotic. Ooh. Here we go. That doesn't look, that doesn't look right. That's better. I'm gonna check out something too. Okay, everything looks good. Sorry y'all. I am getting myself back into gear here. Hope y'all been having a good week. I have been having an all right week. Just a lot of work, a lot of um, a lot of cranking out pages, getting stuff done. I'm going to be dog sitting this weekend in the coming week. Oh. Just feeling a little bit uh, a little bit spread thin. If I could describe my week well. A little bit spread thin. I've been working out a lot lately. Um, doing like going to the gym, doing yoga, doing elliptical exercises, all that stuff. Just my body's still getting conditioned and uh, it takes a bit, you know? So let's start here. I'm going to do shading first. Do multiply 50%. And I need to pick a color that works out here. Like so. It's gonna be a pretty short video this week. I uh, just have so much stuff I need to get done that I can't really stick around for too long. One of these days, one of these days, one of these days we're gonna do a live stream though. I would love to have a live stream situation. I really I have to test it out and just make sure all the little pieces are together before I do it because uh, I think it would be fun uh, not only to do like work with y'all hanging out but also just like talking with y'all um, getting to know y'all a little better if that's something y'all want to do uh, let me leave a comment too if you if this idea really interests you um, I do want to talk about more with y'all as my Patreon contributors, as the people who help me out with stuff. It, uh, I, want to, I want to find ways that we can connect and, you know, share in community and all that stuff. I think that'd be great. Anywho. What else has been going on with my week? Hmm. It has been uh, really nothing, quite frankly. It has been one of those weeks where it's just like 
meh. <laughs> just been very meh. Uh, I'm not like a, I guess the one thing, I'm not like a huge believer in, uh, I'm not like the biggest astrology person, even though I like will regularly check horoscopes. Um, I think I've talked, I don't know if I've talked about this before. I personally don't, I think horoscopes are largely BS, but I kind of think there might, I personally think there might be something to the overall concept of astrology that people born in certain times of the year may exhibit certain character traits. Um, now, why do I think that, or why would I even think that that's like a reasonable postulate or whatever? I have some theories. Uh, one theory that I have is perhaps, perhaps the seasons in which, um, in which babies gestate in the womb could determine the amount of energy that their mother uses while gestating that baby. And that may have some sort of effect on brain development, some subtle, tiny effect on brain development, the way a person may long-term metabolize food, um, things like that. Um, that's one theory. I uh, don't know if there's a whole lot. You know, it's, it's a little bit little bit i mean you could potentially do you could potentially do an experiment though, though based on that theory it's that's the best one i got quite frankly anyway whole point being mercury retrograde started uh the 16th and i i don't know i had this weird thing at the start of february where i just felt like uh I just felt more tired, a little bit more insular, um, and it felt like a very dramatic like shift. And a rash, the, the very rational part of me is like, well, maybe you're just tired from working out so much, which I think is pretty reasonable. Uh, and then another part of me, you know, the not so rational part of me, or the part of me that is more interested in the speculative, the uh, the woo, so to speak, um, goes, well, maybe, maybe this is like that Pisces energy, man. And uh, I did have one instance of like slight what would be normally, you know, what people would normally define as like a ret Mercury retrograde type situation where uh, this convention that I'm planning to be a panelist at uh, this, because I'm, I will be a local artist at this convention, they were wanting to comp me a table, which is awesome. And I got a call, uh, because originally I had, I had uh, signed up to be just a vendor, and before this was before. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to put this thing together. So originally at this convention, I wrote an email being like, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm the author of Trailer Park Warlock. I've worked on the Plants vs Zombies books. Blah blah blah. I'd be happy to be a panelist at your at this convention." talk about my areas of expertise, yada, yada. And I'd never got an answer from that email. So I was like, well, okay, I'll just fill out, um, I'll just fill out the vendor application and just, you know, be a vendor at this convention. It's in my home, it's in my town. Uh, no reason not to, quite frankly. And I just expected to go like that. Well, then I finally, later on, after I had sent in an application for a vendor table, got a reply from one of the people who arranged this convention saying like, oh, we'd love to have you on a, uh, as a 
and some panels. If you're willing to do that, we'd be happy to comp you a table, et cetera, et cetera. Please fill out this application and include this information in your application. So I did that. Well, today I get a call from, you know, one of the people who organizes the table situation, the vendor situation. It's like, hey, we haven't gotten a check for your table yet. And my initial response was like, oh, okay, well, let's take care of that. And I was like, oh, wait, but actually I had a conversation with this other guy saying I would be comp the table and that person was like, oh, well, I didn't know about this and I'll need to talk to him. Anyway, um, saying all this as this is what is typically what a lot of people typically will call a very like mercury retrograde type of communication snafu, you know, where wires get crossed, the organize the organizational um, organizational bits are not well arranged, so little mishaps happen. Not a very big deal. It got settled. I actually got a text like 30 minutes later. It's like, oh, we got it all situated. You're good to go. No worries. Um, now, I've seen situations where people who, you know, really believe the Mercury retrograde had like a huge thing happen where it was like they were applying for an apartment in a different state. We're going to move. And then right, like, right after reserving the, um, what you call it, the rental, like, you know, the rental vehicle to move their furniture and, you know, they had everything arranged, ready to go, it was helping them move. And then they get a call from the uh, apartment, you know, the, the land, the property manager, whatever, saying, like, saying like basically having already moved all their stuff into the moving vehicle saying like oh actually you're you're we have there's something happened and we have to actually cancel this we can't move you into this apartment that would be you know that's like one of those things where if you were if you're if you believe in Mercury retrograde, that is like a, a hard confirmation, right? Um, it certainly was for this person. I'm, I mean, with almost literally anything, I'm very like willing to entertain the idea, but I have this sort of notion of like, if I believe in it too hard, I give it too much power. And that's kind of like with almost anything. And maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's a wilder idea than, than believing in uh, the order of the universe or the order of your life based on the transits of uh, stellar bodies. But um, I'm willing to entertain the concept of Mercury retrograde, but, you know, I kind of keep a little tally in the back of my mind and I go, okay, there was this instance where this happened and this actually did happen during what is considered a Mercury retrograde period. Okay. That's a data point. Tally that down. Consider it as information. Um, that being said, like crazy stuff happens all the time everywhere. So that's kind of where I, I hold out my skepticism on it. Um, but I do like to entertain the, I do like to entertain the possibility. Uh, I think this is actually all I'm doing for this panel. It's done. This is a done panel. Uh, anyway, a uh, short, a short little video this time around. Oh, let me save. Did I save? I'm going to save. I did save. Short little video this time around. I hope y'all are having a great day, great week. 
great Mercury retrograde, if that's what floats your boat. Um, I'll talk to you all again next week. Um, next week I'll be in Baton Rouge, and I'll have a little, even a little bit more space to um, do some more journaling. I might actually try and do a lot of journaling next week. We'll see. Anyway, um, I hope it's going well for y'all. And thanks as always. I will talk to y'all again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll talk to y'all again um, soon. All right. Bye.